I love what I do. It still blows my mind I work on things like this. This is the best job I've ever had. I worked at the U.S. Bank Stadium. I worked at the Vikings Practice Stadium. Yeah, on the job training, I get to go to work and learn. I'm well on my way to buying a house pretty soon. I tell anyone that will listen to at least consider a career in the construction trades. It is an absolute gem of an option. An apprenticeship going into the trades is essentially a hands-on college education, except that you don't have to pay tuition. Our technical programs have more rigor than many of our college programs. And there's, there's so much stuff out there for everybody, you know. There's carpenters, there's laborers, there's electricians, iron workers, there's something for everybody. I have an undergrad in geology, a master's in education, and came to the trades at the age of 35. I love that this job there's knowledge that goes into your head, but there's also knowledge that goes into your hands. It's varied every day. This is the first job I've ever had, and I've had a lot of them, that I can see myself doing it for 30 years. And even though I came in at 35, I hope to have a 30-year career. I'm an insulator. I install insulation over pipes that are hot or cold. I learned through going through the apprenticeships. I work Monday through Friday, but on Saturdays, that's when we have school from 7 to 3.30. I had all these teachers on my good side and they were just they were just there for me. If I have any questions to this day I could call the teachers or the people I work with and ask them any questions and they'll teach me how to do it over the phone. I sat behind a desk doing graphic design. I was a restaurant manager for a long time and I, I like this better. I think it's a, a great opportunity for women as well if you want work hard and uh, make a great living. I wish that I joined the apprenticeship straight out of high school. I'm still learning every day. Right now I'm on the Red Wing Bridge project that you can see right behind me. Uh, I've been here since January, putting up the tub girders that you can see spanning over the river, uh, some doing the splices, making the bolts. I love it. I take a lot of pride, especially this job in particular. I'll be able to tell my son every time he goes over this bridge that I built it. Being a pipe fitter, I look up, just check out their work. I mean, I do it all the time in this hospital. Everything I put in, I walk past it all the time and look up like, yeah, saving somebody's life. <laughs> I don't just paint. I tape, I mud, I do wall coverings. I mean, I hang vinyl. We're using iPads now to look at like the schematics of a building. You know, we're looking at our blueprints on an iPad. Most of them are done by an app now. There was more than a lifestyle of going to school for four years, racking up a ton of debt, and trying to find a, jo a desk type job. Um, I found that you could learn by working with your hands. You could learn all these skills and all the knowledge you need to have a successful career. And not only that, but I work a job where I leave at the end of the day and I get to see the work I've done. I get to see the difference that's being made with what I'm doing with my career. I would tell any parent to keep all options open. My son chose to go into the trades through the Registered Apprenticeship Program. I know that he's on the road to success. I see the pride that he has in getting up and going to work every day. There is continued learning. There's daily learning. I, I just can't be more proud of him. And I encourage young people to explore registered apprenticeship as a means of supporting a lifestyle for a lifetime. The trade jobs are not going overseas. And there's a real market in our economy right now for the trades. I should be encouraging my folks to find their passion in, in a field that's gonna be able to support them and their families. Construction apprenticeship, the other four-year degree. 